Hi all. Today we are to see how to integrate external database with ThingWorks. In this one, you can see two example. One is PostgreSQL, and this uh, one one more thing is uh, MSQL. Yeah, let's jump into the demo. Hope uh, here you can see I have already installed uh, PostgreSQL and also MSQL on my PC. Both are installed on a local machine. Yeah, and this is one also in local machine. Yes, so let's open the ThingWorks instance. Yeah, I have. I am using the trial instance, so you can see it is a completely a new instance, which is a trial one. So yeah, uh, to connect to external database, we have the out of box template called uh, database thing template. Yes, so this is the out of the box, which is available from I guess uh, after nine. This is the uh, I think it is a 9.1 version yes let's start so first we need to create a thing out of it let's create a thing so first we are going to connect with the Postgres uh, database so yeah Postgres DB connection yes and select your default project and yeah database is selected and yeah so once we say wait, we will get the configuration. So here we have to give the PostgreSQL uh, database details like uh, a class name and connection string and then validation string. To get the class name, we just uh, go to online JDBC driver class name. Yeah. So this is the class name and. Uh, this is the connection string so here you can see my db name is postgres so i need to give postgres and server is local host and port number is 5432 and yeah database params value equal to as it is yeah i think uh, we can also copy it from document let it get open actually yes. so yes. postgresql server name is localhost 5432 and database name is postgres yes so you can see database name is postgres and yeah these are the things we need to do ah yeah sorry we also need to put a username i think yeah, we can use the default username which comes with during installation yes once we save it yes so here you can see it is saying that it is got connected so now we are connected to the postgres database to check it we can write a very simple query test select i think we can use the same uh, this now which will return the no, oops which will which will return the current time yeah you can see it is returning the current time yeah and here you can also see what are the tables inside uh, in the uh, in the database so I'm just uh, no, uh, trying to pull some data from the table I need to give the test to save and continue let's execute it yeah we will get the data from the table you can also cross check from here star from data test yeah so once you execute it you will get the this is how we need to connect with the postgresql now we can jump into the next one mssql so again we can we need to create a thing mssql db connection and as we can select some default project and same as database connection so 
yeah once we save it we need to go to the configuration here also we need to change other parameter so now we will go yeah now we will you know try to find out MSSQL uh, JDBC connection string connection string sorry for my typo yeah so this is the yeah this is the connection string of course these are the different connection strings we are going to use the this one so let's select it we'll paste it as it is also in local host and we need to put the port number and the database name is test db yeah let us put as test db we need to get the class name so this is the MSS skill default class name yep. so done SQL database name everything is done and yeah the here uh, in, in the SQL database we won't uh, uh, you know this string won't work you, you can also cross check so if we put we will get error so we need to change this one get data once you execute we'll get so we need to change the connection string so yeah we need to change the connection string here and I'm going to use the same uh, username password which I used during installation 3123 oops it didn't match So once you save it, it will get saved and yes, it didn't get connected. Let's check the application log. So okay, so it throwing errors. There is uh, JDBC driver class is not found. So means uh, the jar file is missing in our Thingbox installation. So what we have to do is first we need to install the JDMS SQL JDBC. JDBC 7.1. Let's go with 7.4.1. Yeah, let's go to this site and in download, we just need to download that uh, zip file. Next, yeah, download now desktop. Let me put it in desktop. Yeah, once you got downloaded, uh, go into it and inside this, you can find a lot of uh, jar files based on your uh, java version you need to select the jar file if you look into my java version it is 1.8 so i am going to choose this jre8.jar we need to copy this one and we need to paste it in thingworks uh, installation folder i am just trying to find it yeah here it is we need to get it to tomcat and in apache tomcat there will be a folder called lib so we have to paste it here once we paste it we need to restart the thingworks instance let me restart it yes it started let's check get started so now we will go here and then we will check the property still it is not connected let me try to save it okay it's taking a long time i think there is some issue so let's check the application log okay in log we didn't get any errors okay try it. We'll, let's try to create some service let me create some test service oh uh, yeah select get data yes let me execute it I don't know I think it is first it will try to save it that's why it's taking more time yeah it's getting executed so 
so yes we are getting error called the TCP IP connection to the host port number as per connection timeout so we need to check whether we have enabled uh, this port number in uh, server configuration just open the SQL server configuration manager yeah here if you go to the network configuration if you select that your server it will be mentioned as protocol for SQL server this is my instance so here the TCP IP is disabled I will enable it and also I here I need to specify the port here you can see a number of like multiple IPs you can you need to specify your port number here the default port number for MSSQL is 1433 so I will apply it yeah and we need to restart this DB so I will select the DB this is the instance I will restart it yes it got restarted so let me cross check here I will try to execute it yeah it got restarted okay I'll save here now yes now it got saved much faster now you can see it is also get connected yes now if you execute you will get the time here also as I said for uh, uh, Postgres you can find all the tables which is created in this one which uh, here I have created only one table Let's, let's uh, try to run a service to get data from the DB. Select star from DB name from dbo.table1. Let's save and execute. I think I will get an empty row because uh, I didn't add anything here in this table. So you can see it's nothing is there here. So yeah, once if the data is available, you can also see it in ThingWorks. Yes, these are the two simple steps. It is applicable for all the SQL servers which support JDBC driver. Only thing is uh, whenever we are going to try with a different uh, database uh, server, we need to have the proper uh, jar file located in our uh, Tomcat lib folder make sure that and then it will work thanks for watching if you like this video press like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you want anything need to be clarified put down it in comment thank you